All right, I'm up here at Stackhouse Park in, up in Westmont, Johnstown area. I'm gonna do the uh, Stackhouse Park turkey trot slash two miler and the bunny hump. This is where registration usually is up here on top, Westmont. Across from the Westmont Elementary School. Usually have to park over that way. Quick little two mile race. It's pretty fun. Right in here is where the race starts. They got a little information center right there. Got a little portage on. But the race starts here. As soon as you come down the park. Just a little bit. Starts out on a nice little straight semi flat section. Which is nice actually because you can fit three people wide if you're uh, for the race. I'm not sure how big Stackhouse Park actually is, acreage wise, but I know there's probably a dozen tra uh, miles of trail on it. We're just going to be on the easier part. There's a lot of uh, more technical trail, some more hills. Yeah, see, we got. We got a little bit of a decline coming up. Just like a five, 10 foot drop. Looks like they really smoothed out the trail this winter. Got a little, little like sawdust and stuff down. I'll do a quick little circle around. I can't give you the exact uh, elevation today, I don't think. Or maybe I can. All right. I guess I can. I'm using a course map on my watch today for this. But again, this uh, park's tucked into like Westmont, Johnstown area. You know, not many people actually know about this park, but it's actually really beautiful in the uh, spring and summer when everything's growing up. They do take pride in it. Go 
down a little bit here again. Uh, a little moist there. Oh, looks like they got some logging going on today. All right, so you're gonna come down this little straight stretch. Obviously, these guys won't be here then. Alright, so where those guys are at, we got 75 feet down, 16 feet of gain. I'm at 0.55 right now. We'll go a little bit faster. The course is marked pretty good. You don't have to worry about getting lost. There is a couple little, you know, turns to the left and right, you'll see. But there'll be people, or there'll be markings. It's actually a pretty fat, flat, fast course to begin with. Yeah, see there's a road that you can take. We're basically staying on the main section that goes through the whole park. Westmont's actually like the top of the hill. See, there's another little path to take. Got some nice new signs. Look at that. But the first half of the race, since it is downhill, you can run pretty hard and fast. You know, that free speed. So it is, as you see, mostly on gravel. Like we'll, we'll call it a access road. It actually goes through the whole park down to the very bottom.
Now I'll show you real quick because we got a good view. That hill and stuff over there. There's a lot of trails on that hillside. And they all loop around down into the, you know, lower part of the trail. There's miles and miles of trail up there. We'll keep going with the course. We're still going downhill. A nice little spring thing coming down the side of the road. Hit the mile mark. So a mile into the race, we got 228 feet of descent, 16 feet of gain. We still got some more to go down. Get back on the screen. So again. We'll say 1.15 miles of the race is downhill. So really turn and burn the first half. Don't hold nothing back. Now we're gonna make a turn up here at the left about where those people are. To the right there's another trail. Alright, so we made that turn. Now this is where the race gets a little bit harder because now you're going to go uphill. Let me get back to the elevation chart real quick. So at the turn we're at 283 feet down, 16 feet up with 1.1 mile into the race. So now we're just going to be gaining a lot of it back but not all of it. Got a nice little creek beside you. The one downfall to this race is it doesn't show the whole beauty of this park. There's a lot of exploring to do. So if you get a chance, come up and spend probably, you know, five to eight hours at least exploring the different trails on the, uh, hillside up there got a nice little bridge show you this real quick you really can't get lost since it is like basically tucked into Johnstown Westmont so if you really only go I don't know half mile mile you're gonna hit a house Oh, there's an old, check that out real quick, up there. So this is uphill. 
your legs will burn especially if you're running fast but it is only a two mile race so leg burning really isn't an issue So I guess the second half of the race itself becomes more of like a single track slash double. But it's really not technical at all as you see. You're not really going to trip on rocks or roots. check the elevation real quick so no. Ooh, my shoe. so we got like 144 145 into the race 70 feet of gain 290 down got a nice little uh Pump coming up here. Somebody coming down on a bike. Oh. 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 Thank you. Sure. There's a little hump there. A little history right there. Alright, we're now over 100 feet of gain. We're still gaining. Hopefully you can see. It does get a lot steeper now. All right, now we're coming to a crest. Now we're at 140 feet of gain. There's another little trail goes up.
Now you're gonna see this bridge ahead and you're gonna see like the finish line to your left. Do not cross the bridge. We actually go around it. Don't take that little bridge either. Should be, I think it's this one. We do take this one. Yep. Go this way. Sorry about that confusion. Now you cross this little bridge. And then you come down into And this will be where your finish line is. Right in this area. This will be your finish line where they have the treats and awards and stuff. And that's your stack house. Uh, two mile turkey trot slash bunny hop race. I know that might have been a little bit confusing and not the greatest video because we had a couple of stoppages. But just wanted to get you an idea since it is a two mile course. I didn't really want to uh, re-video it, but let's see what the elevation is. So I got 307 feet of descent, 170 feet of gain. So it's a net loss race, and it's all in that first half. So really push it if you're going to run hard for time or whatever. And then the second half, prepare yourself for the hill. But hopefully... You didn't burn yourself out completely going down and you have enough energy for the way back so all right